Thank you, first frame. Long term count to break. So the referee is Malgozata Kanieska, and my co commentator, I'm delighted to say, is the 1986 world champion, Joe Johnson. Joe, an interesting match, this. Yeah, absolutely. They've never played before, and I've said it many times that uh, it's always strange for a top player to play somebody for the very first time. But Mark Allen, well, he's in good form, isn't he? We just heard when he was speaking with Alan McManus that he'd made two maximums back to back. And that was in my town of Bradford just last week. Amazing. But of course, this is a ranking event, and you can't play with the same freedom that you do in exhibitions, but nevertheless, what an achievement. Just catching the middle pocket knuckle there, but doesn't appear to be any damage. Long made 10 centuries last season and he's already made four this season so it's going the right way lost the cue ball of there uh, though played to leave it dead on the balk cushion and it's coming in and out of balk but again no damage done Well, that's certainly opened things up, hasn't it? Coming off the pack thick. Very attacking safety. There's no doubt that Mark Allen would love to do what he did when he made his debut in the English Open. Last season, his first match, he took on the Egyptian Mustafa Dorgan. He won 4-0 well inside an hour. He outscored Dorgan 452 points to 16. Winning 4-0 with four centuries. I commentated on that match for Discovery Plus, and it was utter domination. He never looked like missing. Oh, and a miss. Mark Allen, four. Amazing snooker. Now, he may well make him play from there, Mark. The path back to Bork, more difficult from that position than the previous one. Just weighing things up. Is it harder from there, where he's got his cue? Or is it harder from where he is? Yeah, he's having it put back. That's because that there was a pot on. It was a difficult one. And he could very well have played the pot. Thought it was a little closer to the cushion, actually, but... Not an easy shot to play at any time, particularly when you're still a little cold, still getting acclimatised to the conditions, and he's missed the red again. Oh, yes, and, and this time he will be warned. If he misses it again, it's end of frame. Surely you can't play the same shot. Probably have to play it thicker. Try and get the cue ball down by the green. And that's the place where I expected him to play the cue ball on the right side of the table. Much more difficult to play the safety for Mark Allen then. Well, had he got near the pot, he wouldn't have made the cannon to the red.
The red to the left corner is okay for the right-handed player, but the left-handed player like Mark Allen, much more difficult, so it's handy that he can see this red. One. I think it's fair to say, Joe, that Mark Allen's choices, having the cue ball replaced not once but twice, in the end have been entirely vindicated. Yeah, he gave it some study, didn't he? Give it some thought and... Yep, he's earned the chance. I think the most important word for Eight. Mark Allen when it comes to the way he plays is balance. For many years, Hustled and bustled around the table very quickly. Mark Allen, eight. At points over the last couple of seasons, I think he's played a little too slowly. If he can find that balance, he's formidable. But that shot, well, that was a mystery because he missed it by quite some way. The way he's gesticulating suggests he might have had a kick. Well, kicks don't throw wide, do they? Oh, not that wide. Maybe... Maybe you did. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt there, Phil. One. It was a good chance for Mark Allen, but this is also a good chance for Long. This is the red that I thought Mark Allen would have played for. Eight. This would have freed the black to both pockets. He came so close to qualifying for the tour, Long Zi Wang, in 2019, reached the final round of Q School, but didn't quite get the job done. Had to wait four more years to become a tour member. His route into professional snooker was through the Chinese Billiards and Snooker Association, CBSA qualifiers, rookie last season. And I think he's one of those players, Joe, who's improving all the time. Well, they all are, aren't they? When all the young players from whichever country, they're getting used to the professional game. I'm, I'm already impressed by this young man. 25. Well, a slight mistake being the wrong side of the blue. Yeah, didn't want the kiss. Still on the black, but more difficult now to get to the next red. Well, 
I may have got a kick there. That was so wide. That was a hunk. Third one. There it is again. Yeah, kicks have been reduced, but they've not been completely eliminated. And I would definitely say he got one there, not just from the way the ball reacted, but also from the sound. Yeah, that's a good, really good pot. Now, he may choose to go into those five reds surrounding the pink spot area. Easy enough to play for the red that's on the cushion. Yep, attempted to go into them. <laughs> a little unfortunate. He just got a little bit too much screw in the cue ball. Oh. Came back straighter than we intended. The red along the cushion is dangerous to take on. Good opening red. I couldn't have got the cue ball in a better place, really. Yeah, he's weighing all kinds of things up here. If he took the red along the cushion, yeah, okay, it'd be on the pink or black, but there's no red from either of those colours. So, just the safety. Mark Allen four. And not the best. Mark Allen there. The red he refused might have brought back memories. It was very similar to a red that John Higgins knocked in during that unforgettable clearance to defeat Mark Allen 13-12 in the last 16 of the World Championship back in the spring. Of course you can hear applause going on all around the arena, that's because Three other matches are taking place. Liu Hao Shan and Dominic Dale. Ricky Ward and Matt Selt. And Tom Ford against Zhang Jun. As Alan plays a very clever shot there. Knew he got a semi big pocket. And the way he played it, there was no way there was going to be any jeopardy. By the way, if you weren't with us on Discovery Plus this morning, two matches started out at 10 o'clock. Both went the distance. Hossein Vafai beating Matthew Stevens 4-3 in a high-quality affair. And congratulations to Ross Muir of Scotland beating Gary Wilson 4-3 on the main table. Second prize, <clears throat> he did go for the pot to nothing, but he knew where that cue ball was going.
and no mistake this time. So Longzi Wang's second season on the tour, and that's a, a double-edged sword. Yes, he knows the ropes now, knows what to expect. But of course, when you're coming on as a rookie, you're full of enthusiasm and optimism. No great scar tissue. The one weakness in his game, and I noticed this during his extensive play at the Championship League to start the campaign, He's not the best tactically. Well, that's a mistake. And that was a pretty good kiss on that second One. red. Look at the kiss there. And that's put him nicely on the blue. Just under hitting things at the moment, Mark Allen. He had a lot of room there to play with. Played for the red just below the blue. Well held for the black. Although I think he's a little straight on it to get back down for the red, so he's going to have to play a medium. No, he's got the right side of it. So this is a really good chance now for Mark Allen. Oh. The previous red show, he's got the kind of cue action that's ideal for that kind of shot. Yeah, he's certainly got the touch, hasn't he? Fifteen. But that cannon didn't work out. He expected to catch that half ball. And beyond the red to the left corner. And that looks to be end of break. 22. Although I'm pretty sure he'll take the red on. And if he could leave the cue ball on the black cushion in taking this red on, it'd be nicely... Sorry, on the bought cushion, it'd be nicely on the pink. So it's worth having a go at this red. Now oh, that's a super shot. And he's got the cue ball in the ideal spot on the pink to get back to the reds. What a great recovery shot that was.
So this black no problem, but the red behind it could be. And it is going to need one of those two reds on the right side cushion. Thirty-seven. Just looking at where he wants to be on the black to make a cannon to one of those two reds. Yeah, looks like he hasn't quite come far enough. I think that's a wise shot to play because the seven points would have put in 38 points to the lead. He'd still need another red. Now he's got a colour safe in case Long gets back in with a chance. Yeah, you can't fault the logic of that. That's a good safety. Forcing Mark Allen to try and bring that red off the right side cushion. And then the green really does come into play. 38. And that's a great return safety as well. Super shot from both players. I think this has been a really promising frame from Mark Allen. OK, he's made a, a mistake or two, but I like the pace of his play. It's just right. He's got the right rhythm. He'd like to land up to that red just behind the black, but the middle pocket looks to be in the way of landing up to that red. Played it with some safety in mind. And managed to cover the red that's over the middle.
can he be tempted? Is it going to finish? You never know where they're going to go once you miss them. And that's a little bit heavy for Mark Allen, normally such a good judge of pace. Yeah, that was clumsy for anyone, let alone him. Well, this time he hasn't got away with it. He's had two half decent chances with these two reds on the table one so just the blue needed i'm sure the red will follow it's been a hard fought Opening frame, that's for sure. Both players have had decent chances. Six. It's going to be Mark Allen who takes it. Seven. Yeah, deservedly so. No fireworks whatsoever, but Mark Allen's definitely been the better player of the two. Fourteen. Kind of falling himself some useful table time. Not sensational, but decent. And so the first frame in the first ever meeting between these two falls to the Northern Ireland number one. Mark Allen makes the desired start. Thank you. Second frame, Mark Allen to break. Last 64 matches in the Bedford English Open are a race to four. Still considered a sprint. So Mark Allen's 25% of the way there. By the way, there's a match going on right now to determine who will play Judd Trump in the last 32. It is Ricky Walden against Matthew Selt, and Walden has won the first frame, aided by a break of 67. Other scores, Tom Ford and Zhang Jun, 1-1 already. Ford making 96 in the first. Zhang Jun replying with 1-2-7 in the second. And... Liu Hao Shan and Dominic Dale, 1 0 to our Eurosport commentary colleague Dale, who won a scrappy opener.
another very good safety there from Mark Allen playing off the reds a little thick to open them up We saw there, Joe, very straight cue action and no dominant eye right down the middle. Uh, some really good safety shots coming out from both players here. Good shot from Long. Last visit to the table. A very good one there from Mark Allen, just catching the red exactly right to get the cue ball there. I'm just going to be careful here not to catch the jaws of the pocket. Yeah, very good. It's not been headline-grabbing stuff from Long Si Wang to start the season, but he's done well. Foul. And the miss. Long Chong Kong, four. In the first round of the Xi'an Grand Prix, he lost 5-4 to Gary Wilson on the black after leading 4-2. Came close to a big scalp there. And he gained one in Wuhan Open qualifying. He beat Mark Selby. 5-4 from 4-1 down. Selby had a 1-3-3 and a 1-30 to take a big lead. But Long Ziwang refused to wave the white flag, making it a 67 in the decider to get the verdict. As for the British Open, which takes place in Cheltenham next week, in the qualifier there, he beat Liam Pullen, 4-0, two centuries. And in this tournament, after a first-round walkover against Lim Kok Leong of Malaysia, he beat Sanderson Lam, 4-2, making a couple of 80s. So he's a very dangerous sort. Oh, well, he's missed it twice. So he will be warned. Oh, and the miss. And it must Sandra have been exactly back in the right place because he's gone in off again. So I have to warn you, they thought Mr. Kramer was the same. Prudent. You might think, well, surely no one at this level would miss the ball three times they can see on, but it happens more often than you might imagine. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I think the great Steve Davis missed three times on the bounce. Yeah, first player ever to do it in a televised match. I was there at Goffs in Ireland at the Irish Masters. And he was up against Ken Doherty. And it was the deciding frame. It lost in the match. Wow. I didn't know that. And by the way, while we we're talking about Ken Doherty, it's the darling of Dublin's birthday today. All the fives, 55. Doesn't look a day over 40. He genuinely doesn't. He's the <laughs> Benjamin Button of snooker.
George caught that a, a hair too thick, and that's why the red is poked out. Very dangerous red to take on, though, isn't it? With no guarantee of being on a colour. He could finish on the black if he took it on. These have got to go in these type of shots. Good pot. Better say, One. no guarantee of being on the colour. It could have finished on the black. be tight this getting through the gap of reds look at that I think you can just about pot it oh he's gone Don't away with that one. one and now the black tied up again real positional fortune for Longzi Wang and he just didn't exploit it. It was very tight. The cue ball came very close to it in that red. So I'm not sure how much more of the black he could get hit. But he's fortunate to get away with it. The old annoying mantra, whatever you do, don't hit the blue. Yeah, he caught the safety too thick, didn't he? That's afforded a chance now. Mark Allen with the reds nicely spread. One. Every chance here, making a decent break. In case you didn't hear earlier, you made two maximums in an exhibition back to back last week, Mark Allen. Interesting there, asking as soon as the black went into the pocket for it to be cleaned. Clearly not happy with the reaction. Hey. But his cue ball control is so excellent, normally, that this is the kind of position where he thrives. The burst of applause you've just heard there was for the adjoining table where Matt Seltram, right here in Essex, 24. his home county, he's just made a century to draw level with Ricky Walden at 1 1. Now that red seemed to take off, Joe. Yeah, it seemed to drift to the left as it was coming towards the pocket. And we saw that happen on the other pocket yesterday. And the final black ball. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Nicely squeezed through the gap there. Mark Allen positional shot. Very easy to have caught one of the reds. Four. 
out. Okay, just a little short of pace there. And this, again, isn't straightforward to pop the red, get onto the black. Not sure if you can just play the cannon to the red and stay on the pink, but it's a tough shot, this. Yeah, you could. Four to one. Forty-seven. He's got that cue ball under control, has he? Making everything easy. Each shot that he's playing. You think, well, I could get that one. And that's because of his positional play. Spot on. Fifty-five. Fifty-six. Yes, regardless of what happens from here on in, 2024 for Long Zi Wang's opponent has been one to remember with fondness. Back in May, when he got to the apex of the world rankings, he was only the 12th 63. player since the rankings were introduced to be at the top of the pile. First player from Northern Ireland, Alex Hurricane Higgins and Dennis Taylor, yes, they were world champions, but never quite got to the summit of the rankings. 71. 72. So that was frame ball in effect. I just needed that chance, that one chance, on a poor safety. 79. I'm long to your right. Catching the blue. And paid the price, the ultimate price. Eighty. Eighty-seven. Eighty-eight. Purely and simply a lapse in concentration. He wouldn't miss that one in a month of Sundays. And so Mark Allen misses out on a century, but he doesn't miss out on a 2 0 lead. In the spotlight on the main table this afternoon, first up, Long Zi Wang in early trouble against Mark Allen, trailing 2 0. It's day two of the Bedford to English Open, the first of four events in the Home Nation Series this season. And the match is going on. Matt Selton, Ricky Warden, 1-1. Zhang Jun of China. He lost the first frame to Tom Ford, but since then he's had breaks of 127 and more recently 104 in leading 2-1. And Liu Hao Shan, having lost the first frame to Dominic Dale, has equalised with the break of 81. So you're right up to date.
Upsets, shocks, call them what you will, have been thin on the ground thus far. Jack Jones, the world number 15, has been eliminated by Ishpreet Singh Chadha. That was last night. Gary Wilson went out this morning. Ding Jinwei did not enter. As we talked about a few moments ago, Tom Ford could be a, a little vulnerable in his match against Zhang Jun. But generally speaking, big names are doing okay. And that certainly applies to Mark Allen here. When it comes to home nations, series, victories, trophies, only Judd Trump and Mark Selby have won more than Mark Allen. He's a three-time home nations winner. Back-to-back -back Northern Ireland Open successes on home turf. And also the Scottish Open in 2018. <laughs> That's a mistake. Pushing that red over the right corner. But he's got a very good cue ball. So it's going to be difficult to pot this and control the cue ball. Black doesn't go. So he's got to try and get that cue ball back down towards the blue or bought colours. Not easy from that. One. I think he's going to have a go at this blue. He's not going to win by safety alone against Mark Allen. He's got to take the game to him. Big screw shot this. Nicely played. Has he come back far enough? I think he played Six. for the red directly above the, bl the black. And that would have led him to the black. Oh, and no. again, can't afford to miss those. Long term punk. Six. A let off. Don't know whether you agree, Joe, but the structure of this match so far, very reminiscent of the Je Trump Liu Hong Yu match yesterday where Trump took advantage of his opponent's failings early on. Liu took a while to settle. Seems exactly the same for Long Zi Wang. Yeah, when he did settle though, he played extremely well. Took Judd to a decider. Yes, and that's why, even though he's looking good, Mark Allen, he will be taking absolutely nothing for granted. When you've been a professional for 19 years, you've seen a lot. I was going to say you've seen it all, but I don't think anyone's seen it all. <laughs> Not even you, Joe. No, nobody's seen it all. But, as you say, he's very experienced, Mark Allen. And it doesn't feel like he's been around 19 years, does it? I can remember him breaking through. Had a great amateur career. But that's a mistake. A rare mistake on the safety. And he may have left the red to the bought corner, but that looks to be it.
One. Good pot, good kiss. Nicely on the yellow to get back to the reds. Well, maybe a little straight on the yellow, taking the more difficult green. Longsy Wang sensibly backing away from the table due to the applause. The Five. applause was for Matthew Selt making back-to-back -back centuries to turn a 1-0 deficit against Ricky Walden into a 2-1 lead. Yeah, he's some scorer, you know, Matt Selt. Great player. I was expecting more from him. He's got great ability. Nice little touch that. Perfectly onto the blue. All these reds surrounding the black though. All covering one another. There might be the odd one there. That goes. Seventeen. And he's got a nice angle to play a cannon onto the reds. If there isn't a red, that goes. Twenty-three. I think it have been going into the reds there. Playing for this red, it's not easy to get to a colour, although the black will go into the same pocket. Now, 24. he's got a good chance here. Just to play a little cannon, stay on a red. Has that gone wrong? Didn't quite one. catch the red as he wanted. Longzi Wang, one of 13 Chinese players in the last 64 of this tournament. I thought from his body language after the previous shot he was going to be OK. Obviously limited what he could do positionally, but the pink goes to middle. Needs work to get to the next red, though. And this isn't an easy pink. Uh, 
used all the pocket. Now, has he come far enough for the only red that will go? Thirty. Yep, just enough. It's been a good break so far, this. And there was your hang. Now there is a red just above the black that will go to the left corner. So no need to go into them. Forty-four. Well, just showing us what he can do, you know. This has been a very difficult break. But he's still going. And it's been very awkward to get to the reds. And as you can see, again, all the reds covering one another. The black's easy enough. But getting to the next red... <coughs> ...needs... Extremely good positional play. Not quite got the angle on the black to play a delicate cannon. And that's about as good as he could get. The red directly above the black will go. 58 points the lead. Still needs a couple of reds. Imperative he gets the right side of the blue here. Doesn't want to be straight on this brown. What a great break this has been. Good positional shot there. Seven. To get onto the frame ball. Fifty-eight. It's the kind of break that's been so well constructed it will make Mark Allen realise that this match is far from one. A misstep there, but he's 71 to the good with 59 65. on. Long time front, 65 and the frame. Thought Mark Allen might continue there with the possibility of a free ball and eight extra points, but he decides enough is enough. With a break of 65, Long Zi Wang is on the board. Thank you, frame four. Mark Allen to break. Mark Allen sat out the majority of the third frame. Long Zi Wang making a 65 break to get right back into it. And so this one. I think takes on huge importance. Well, he's got a good cue ball, but he's brought the red down the table. I think, fortunately, 
for Mark Allen. I can't see it. I can't see enough of it. Must tell you quickly, a top 16 player in trouble. Tom Ford led Zhang Jun 1 0. Since then, he's only scored eight points. Zhang making breaks of 127, 104, and 65 to lead 3 1. Yeah, the standard of the snooker is quite incredible, isn't it? And seems to be getting better. And we were chatting about this, weren't we, Joe, before we came on air. The big improvement has been the guys down the rankings. The top 64 now, I don't think they've ever been better as a collective in snooker history. No, absolutely not. And as you say, it's, it's just getting better. The lower ranked players are, are competing a lot more. comes down to belief at the end of the day and once a player gets his belief that's what skies him up the rankings and the sky really is the limit in the next round the winner of this match will take on Liu Haoshan or Dominic Dale Liu now leading 2-1 there Making a 66 break in the third frame. It was a safety error in the last frame that cost Mark Allen the frame. The safety play in this match has been exceptional. And Long Zhuang is winning the safety battle at the moment. Foul enemies. Long Zhuang Kao, four. but he's considering taking this long red on back it goes Can you check it, please? Our referee asking Marcel to check it. Marcel is the the marker, Marcel Eckhart, who will be refereeing Ronnie O'Sullivan this evening. There he is. Thank you. So, change of plan. Another very good safety on Long Juan. He's keeping the pressure well and truly on Mark Allen. Yeah, I said at the start of the match that I thought in fragmentary play, Mark Allen would have far too much savvy for Long, but maybe that's not the case. Well, you don't beat Mark Selby without having a very good safety game. 
and long has beaten Mark Selby. You've got to be very patient in this game. Work for your chance, but when you do get the chance, you've got to take it. Oh, this isn't easy to get the cue ball out of that area. Very positive One. shot and played it to perfection. Beautifully on the pink. That was a very confident shot he played there. So it was another safety mistake from Mark Allen that has allowed Long in with this chance. Eight. He's 27 years old, Long Zhuang. So I've still got time in this game. Difficult to see why he's down at number 71 in the rankings playing like this. Well, obviously, he's only had one year on tour, so that would be the big reason. I think he's definitely got the capabilities of breaking into the top 64 at the end of season this season two. or during this campaign. If he doesn't, of course, might have to go back to Q school. That's how tough it is in that vicinity of the rankings because it's quite clear Joe isn't it that he's got potential banks of it uh, he's got the game you know, from what I've seen so far his patience his safety play and his scoring he was a, a little nervous maybe at the beginning which is understandable he's never played Mark Allen before 20 Big stage on the main table. 21. Playing one of the best players in the world. Bound to feel a, a little bit apprehensive. But that's gone by the wayside now. He's well and truly involved in this match. And although it's a different game entirely, I think the fact he won the World Junior Nine Ball Pool Championship in 2015 shows he's a, a competitor and he's got bottle. When you think about some of the players who've won that title, the likes of Coping Chung, Aloysius Yap, Francisco Sanchez Ruiz, Coping Yi, and the current man of the moment, Fedor Gorscht, that's a, a good title to have. He's a fighter. Thirty four. Thirty five. Well, the way he's maneuvering this cue ball around the pink. It's just spot on every time. Mark Allen has got a match on his hands, there's no doubt about that. And he can't get in amongst the balls at the moment because long safety play is superb. Yes, at the end of the second frame, we 41. noted that Mark Allen's pot success rate was 96%. That's not deteriorated, it's just that he's sitting in his chair. 42. Yeah, that 
that wasn't the best positional shot onto this red. Now he's got to just work the cue ball again. Had it been another three inches harder, it would have been a simple shot just to play back up for the pink. And now this time is too hard Four for nine. the pink, not hard enough for the blue. And that's all because he, he didn't get ideal on that last red. Looking good. Good recovery. 54. Giving himself choice of two reds the way he played that last shot. One trait I like about Long Zi Wang, he seems very unflustered at the table. 55. Just gets on with it. No nonsense. So this red in the colour. 61. Should see him safe. And you can't do any better than this winning the frame at one visit, which is what he did in the last frame. Sixty. A little heavy. So maybe just play the blue. Make sure of the frame. 66 the difference. Reports the blue. One snooker to tie. Yeah, good pot, good frame ball. Nothing fancy. Didn't play for that red just above the black, which he, what he could have done. Just made sure of the br the blue one. Six, His opponent seven. now needs snookers. Long jump bank, sixty-seven. Alan didn't carry on in the previous frame, having need three snookers, but requiring just the one, of course, he's going to come back to the table. I must be honest, when Allen led 2 0 with that break of 88 in the second frame, the way things were going, Long Zi Wang hadn't settled down, but all of a sudden, the balance of power has entirely shifted. Frame considered. And it's going to frame be, Long without any frame. doubt, 2 2 because Mark Allen concedes Long Zi Wang with breaks of 65 and then 67. Now the question is, Joe, will the prospect of gaining a, a notable victory over Mark Allen hinder Long Zi Wang or inspire him? Well, he's already shown he's not afraid of winning, beating Mark Selby. And there's no doubt about it, these Chinese boys are improving all the time. There's so many still left in this tournament.
And you can only wish them well because they're so dedicated. You hear stories of lengthy hours of practice being put in by so many. They have the hunger to make an impact. Yeah, I think they're getting the belief in themselves as well. Once you see one of the boys doing well, it inspires them to do well themselves. But really, can't fault this young man's play so far. He's been in trouble a couple of times in the safety, but found a way out of it. This isn't easy. Just playing the containing safety shot. Just looking to see if he can put the cue ball there where the tip of his cue is. It's a dangerous shot to play because if he doesn't cover both reds, the one just below the yellow and the one over the middle pocket, if he doesn't cover them both, it could be curtains. Don't want that cue ball in the pocket. And that's where it's gone, and it's a chance for Long Zhuang. When a player stares a shot down like that and remains at the table, they aren't quite sure whether it's going to reach or not. It was touch and go, but he just about flopped into the pocket. And Long Zhuang now has a golden opportunity. And this is an easier table than what the last one was when he had to negotiate all kinds of problems. One. But look at that, inch perfect. Well, there's at least six reds that he can go at before he needs to go into that cluster of reds. Six. This is about keeping that cue ball under firm control. Seven. Very close to missing that shot. Stayed down on the shot. He wasn't sure, and neither was I. Again, that caught the angles. That near angle. Fifteen. Well, they're not going in cleanly. Almost feels like he's on the verge of missing. He's just got to recompose himself. Because as Phil Yates has already mentioned, you know, coming from behind is one thing, but starting to lead and to win is quite another. Twenty. Twenty-one. A few moments ago you might have caught a glimpse of Tom Ford shaking his head. Well, he's 3-2 down to Zhang Jun was 3-1.
Ford won the fifth frame with a break of 57. The big contribution. If Jiang Jun were to win that match, there's Tom Ford with a suitably concerned expression. If Jiang wins that match, he's into the last 32 of a world ranking event for the first time. And I can tell you, he's at the table scoring. 28. It would be a second personal best for Jiang if he got through. He made his highest break in professional competition in the qualifiers last week, beat Tian Peng Fei 4 2, highlighted by a break of 141. Thirty-five. You'll know what I mean by this, Joe. I like his poise around the table. He doesn't look as, as though he's playing in a massive match against a, a world-class opponent. Just taking it in stride. Yeah, he's well composed, for sure. And he's keeping that cue ball and the tight control, making every shot easy. 41. When you're this far away from the object ball, it's almost impossible for these top players to miss. It would have to be a total lack of concentration. The only thing he's got to think about now is which red he's going to be playing for off the colour that he plays for. And worth bearing in mind here, since he won the second frame with a break of 88, Mark Allen hasn't potted a ball. Hasn't scored a point. That's how good the snooker's been from this young man. 44. Well, that is the first loose shot he's played, and it could, it could mean a lot. 47. He should have been nicely on this red to have left himself a nice angle on one of the bark colours or the blue to open that cluster of reds. As it is, he's got to put all his concentration into this red. And he's missed it. I think it may have been a slight miscue. No, now, what can Mark Allen do? Well, total playing time since his last pot, 38 minutes. So add in the time between frames, around three quarters of an hour before he's been able to get into the attacking portion of the game. A long, long way off. It was difficult. Much easier for a right-handed player to play that shot. 45. And the cue ball going into the reds, he can count himself fortunate he hasn't left something on. 45. No attempt at the pot, just playing the safety.
Oh, deciding to play off the reds. Try and open them up. And that's another very good safety shot from Mark Allen. Giving himself every chance here. By spreading the reds. If he does get a chance, every chance of getting back into this game. Yeah, the very best kind of safety, wasn't it? It was well executed and well conceived. Two cushion escape. And he's played it well. Things are going for him. Finished up getting the hamper as well, so having the run of the ball. When he missed the red to the left middle, he left marker. And then hampered badly over the blue. That was caught it too thin, that cue ball's coming back down. So another chance for Long Zhuang. The way he's played. In the last two and a half frames, you have to believe 3 2 is looming. One. Well, he'd be disappointed now if he didn't win the frame at this visit. Already 52 points the lead. Not used all the pocket. He's feeling it now. You can almost sense. And he's sensing victory, leading for the first time. Nine. 202 unanswered points scored and counting. Yeah, this red and the black would be enough. 16. Well, the red would be. Seventeen. And the black, just to make sure. Twenty-four. Another top sixteen player is out. Jiang Jun has beaten Tom Ford 4-2. A couple of centuries included in that performance. Uncharted territory for him now into the last 32. Just proves our theory, Joe. Snooker's lower rank players have never been more accomplished. 
Yes, very impressed with his all-round game, not just his scoring, 64. his positional play, his safety play has been exceptional. Sixty nine. Oh, for the first Francis two frames. Long Wang was decidedly second best. For the next three, he's been totally dominant. Victor English Open so far. Well, if he's going to avoid that fate, he has to win the last couple of frames. Just a couple of score updates for you. Matt Selt leading Ricky Walden 3-1, aided by a couple of centuries. Liu Hao Shan and Dominic Dale 2-2. Dale salvaging the fourth on the black. And the winner of that plays the winner of this. Oh, red going into that right corner, and he didn't foresee that one. Oh, it may just land up to the yellow. The brown, a little bit too risky to play. Mark Allen one. I must say, Joe, when it went 2 0, I thought this is going to be pretty routine. Now, it's bubbled up beautifully. That could be a very handy little fluke. The reds spread all over the place, so difficult to find a hiding place down this end of the table. You may have to try and hit this red just below the yellow, try and catch it the right side and take the cue ball back into the balk area. But it's a tricky shot, this, to play. Missed it. Oh, and and I think four. there is a red to the right corner that will go. So it's been a long time coming. This is a chance for Mark Allen. One. Nicely played. Screwing across the table there to gain position on the black. Now, down to him. He's proved time and again that he can control two things, Mark Allen. One, the cue ball, and two, himself. He's got a great temperament. He'll require it here. Yeah, you don't win as much as what Mark has done. Had a great amateur career, won everything. Eight. Absolutely everything. So he was used to winning when he turned professional. Stood him in good stead. Twelve. Choice of reds to play for, but the red next to the pink would be a good choice. Yes. 
17. Looks like he can just run through for the black. But the way he cued that shot, looks like he was playing for the blue. Nice little shot that, nudging a red out, developing that red. said it could have been a handy 26. little fluke and he played the snooker off and so far it's turning out that way in the background there you can see Barry Hawkins and Jimmy Robertson about to start their last 64 match 33. Nicely played, good recovery. Just a little too hard for the blue, for comfort. Although it doesn't have to do anything but pop the blue, bounce the cue ball off the cushion. The red just above the black will go. Thirty-nine. When it comes to potting balls and scoring, Mark Allen's been pretty reliable. But playing well these days is no guarantee of winning. Now the standard fairly is so high nowadays, isn't it? And it's just a pleasure to watch. And we're very fortunate that on Eurosport we can see all the live snooker. You can't beat live snooker. 48. Not knowing the results. Just the wrong side of the blue, but he should be able to maneuver that cue ball in and out of Bork. He's played it well, but just a little too hard, but he's okay. Still needs a couple of reds. Look at the whiz on the cue ball there. Lots of right hand side to bring it back down the table, giving himself choice of reds. Fifty-four. Well, what a performance this has been. After not scoring a point, only three frames. Well, it could have worked out better. Sixty-five in the game, but there's still sixty-seven left. Sixty. And he's left with this tricky pot to the right corner. Yes, and Mark Allen mindful that the, the table is there for a possible long z -wine clearance should he get the, the opportunity. No awkward clusters or balls tucked against cushions. Tantalisingly close.
Yes, had that cannon worked out, we'd have been playing the decider by now. So the long stuff, and as Phil has mentioned, should he miss this, that red could be close to the pocket, depending on how he plays it. It's going in the other pocket. And it's there. Great shot. Great winning ball. Six to one. That's the second pot he's knocked in in this match where White and Object Ball are very close together. Hard to judge the potting angle. He knocked in one to the middle in the first frame very nicely, and that one equally so. And that pretty much seals the deal. Yep, we're going to a decider. 67. Mark Allen, 67. And the frame. Indeed, we are going the distance. Mark Allen showed lots of fortitude there after being frozen out. So the good folk of Brentwood have turned up for this match, have been given a treat. Longsy Wang, 2-0 down, dominating the next three frames, but then Mark Allen showing why. He's a champion, why he's won 11 world ranking tournaments. He's got, going to win 12 here. He has to snare this frame. By the way, with 11 ranking titles, he's 11th on the all-time list. If he were to win this one, he'd join his pal Sean Murphy in a tie for 10th. First things first, though. Well, that's the first time quite a while that cue ball hasn't got to the ball cushion but it hasn't left anything easy for Mark Allen except the safety <coughs> I just caught it a touch thick catching the angles of the pocket That's better. Found the line of the shot there. And if you can see that red, that's closest to the left corner. Always difficult to play these type of shots. So easy to catch them just a little bit too thick. And leave your opponent in. Didn't want that secondary contact. He skimmed off the red and he caught it just about thin enough to get back into Bork. Yeah, was in a little bit of trouble there. And as you say, could have caught that red a little bit thicker. And disaster. We do love deciders though, don't we?
except if we're playing them, of course. And this is the third already here today. Both matches in the morning session went the full complement of frames. Ross Muir gaining a surprise and very encouraging victory over Gary Wilson, 4-3. Hossein Vafai holding off Matthew Stevens by the same score. Oh, that kiss. A shift that red over the pocket. Now, what's the kiss like? Can he see this red to pot it? Difficult to tell from here. Well, it does look as though he can pot it, but he's having a look from both ends. And I think the black will go to the right corner. It's tight, for sure. Oh. Yeah, Mark he Allen couldn't four. do anything with it, could he? That's where you need the cue ball tight to the cushion. Try and force your opponent to catch one of the reds a little bit thick or thin. Typical deciding frame caginess from both. Much on the line. Well, that's an attacking safety coming off the reds. He could have played off the loose ones. Don't think it's a snooker, but what a good attempt. Fraction harder.
You were saying you like deciders, Joe. Well, there's another one on table three. Ricky Walden's just made 116 clearance. He's 3-3 with Matt Seltz after being 3-1 down. Well, that was a risky safety to play. He always knew that he was going to be leaving this red to the right corner. I thought he would have tried to have got the cue ball over to the right side of the table and tried to cover that red. Sometimes you only need one chance. Yeah, tough one. table and the pink and black tied up. And you just never know. When the pressure is at its most acute, can Long Zi Wang exhibit the composure and the calmness that was such a feature of those three consecutive frames won? Couldn't have played that any better. Four. Yeah, a choice to make here. Is he playing for that loose red just below the pink? I'll try and develop the pink by going into it. Now, I can't blame him for trying to build a lead of some kind. I think some of the top Nine. players there may have gone into the pink, developed those reds around it and the pink itself. Ten. When he came back from 4-1 down to beat Mark Selby in the Wuhan Open qualifying round. Long Zi Wang made a 67 break in the decider. Something similar would be invaluable. Well, maybe a chance to develop the pink here. Open the reds up. Oh, he's unfortunate there. The red has blocked the pocket for the blue to go into the middle. And the other red has blocked the pink going into the corner. He's very, very unfortunate. He's still on the yellow, but that's a, a lot more difficult. Very missable and lots of pressure on it. It's going to be leaving reds on if he misses this. Yes, and the red closest to the white is proving... A little nuisance. Potted a lot of balls. For th 13 points. Yep, yeah, there was pressure on it. And now he's in Mark Hohen's hands. Long term quank, 13. The 
the extra hesitation there suggested to me he didn't fancy that and in the end the yellow did not threaten at all One. Alan displayed his teak hard temperament in the previous frame. Can he do the same thing here? The ball's obviously far from ideally placed. So much work to be done. Seven. Thirteen. Just trying to work out a plan. Fourteen. Yeah, important. He's got the angle. I may have to take the more difficult yellow otherwise. Looks like he's straight on the pink. Would have liked a little angle just to play for the red. That's above and to the right of the black, but he's straight. Well, this is going to open things up. 20. Going to try and screw that cue ball out of that area. Open the reds up and finish on a colour, hopefully. And that will do nicely. 21. That will do very nicely. I said, Joe, there was so much work to be done. Well, he's in the process of doing it. Alan's stock rose considerably. How that one finished. Yeah, tricky yellow that long to come. It looked a very difficult table when he walked away from it. But all of a sudden, it's beginning to look a little bit nicer. Seven. Mark Allen. Twenty-eight. The red to the left of the black is available. And that, in turn, releases another couple of reds. He was just having a look there to see if the black would go into the same pocket, but risky to play that shot. That was guaranteed. Thirty-four. Good this, break this. Yeah, this time he has got the angle to stun for that red to the left of the black.
The little shake of the head, Joe. 40. Yeah, he can't get through. Well, good lead, 31 points. The way the table is situated. Wanted to leave that red on the right side cushion for some insurance. And he's managed to cover it, I think. Imperative to catch this thin. Caught it too thick. And that was the problem. He needs some luck. And I think he's got some. The hand went up in apology there, almost before the cue ball had stopped. is dangerous if he plays that red that's nearest the black then he's going to be leaving that red near the bot corner unless he can get the cover if he plays just to drop on to that red again he could leave the reds behind the black so this is a bit of trouble A game of fractions, eh? A little thicker on the brown with that kiss, the red would have been left and everything would have been so different. Well, he's managed to push another red safe, but he's left this red on to the right corner. But bags of pressure on the shot. Cue ball's going into the other red, so he's not going to know quite what's going to happen to the cue ball or where that red's going to go to when he makes contact with it. The important thing is to get the pot. And that was all important. That was a chance. Will he get another one? Another raise of the hand. Yeah, the reason for this apology is because while Mark Allen can see a red directly, it's one he doesn't want to move. Well, sometimes I think if you've no choice, Phil, you've got to move it because he's left a possible pot on here. And if he hadn't, then Long would have been moving those two reds anyway. This shot. What a tough pot this is at this stage of the match. Every chance of leaving this red on if he misses it. And he has missed it. Now, can Mark Allen swerve the cue ball and pop this red? Yep, yeah, good pop. Couldn't control the cue ball, but delighted to see the red drop. And now maybe a a chance to put another colour safe for some more insurance. Green ball. And in this kind of instance, Job, you can't take out enough policies, can you? Just get everything safe. Mark 
cada no ano. Would have liked to have seen that green just a little closer to the side cushion. We know Judd Trump's opponent in the last 32. It will be Matthew Selt, who's beaten Ricky Walden 4-3, made a break of 66 in the frame that mattered most. One. That could be the winning shot, and what a shot it was. Knew he was going to be on the yellow. Had it gone in, relatively safe if it didn't. So just this red needed to leave his opponent needing snookers. And what a fight. He showed Three. Mark Allen coming from 3-2 down. This red then. But it's not there. This Mark Allen match three. is still alive. I must say, he's looking surprised. And so am I. I thought that would fall. No ifs, buts, or maybes. Well, what a tough pot this. This is for Long Juan. Never easy, that one. So Mark Allen gets another chance. He put all his eggs in one basket there. No mistake this time. One. 36 points the difference now. One snooker required. Two snookers required. And I'm sure you'll play on as long as you want. Five. If he gets the chance. Mark Allen, five. Let's assume that Allen wins this, and it's a pretty fair assumption. He will feel very proud of himself, because 3-2 down, having been kept out of three consecutive frames entirely, he was looking... More than a little susceptible to defeat. Tenacious performance. And one in which his pot success rate has been pretty high. He's beaten someone who's performed nicely today. Yeah, if he does indeed beat him, which is looking highly likely. That was a really good attempt. Mm. 
That's no mistake now, though. Helen is going through. It's going to be the scrappiest, the most low scoring. Three. The lengthiest frame of the match. But that won't concern Mark Allen in the slightest, and rightfully so. Mark Allen. Three. Lots of heart shown out there today. Frame and a match. And he's through to the last 32. Longsi Wang threw a lot at Mark Allen, coming back from 2 0 down to lead 3 2. But Mark Allen had the last laugh. He's through by a score of 4 to 3.